At Pickering College, every student is enrolled in and benefits from the enriched curriculum of the Global Leadership Program. Throughout their four years in this program, students have learned not only about the world around them, but how to successfully navigate the global context. Particular emphasis has been placed on solving significant problems with real solutions and prototypes, and taking theory to action. Our Global Leadership Program Diploma with Distinction celebrates students who have achieved all 10 of these demonstrations at a level far beyond expectations for a grade 12 student. We are thrilled to celebrate our global leaders in the class of 2017, our trailblazing first graduating class under the Global Leadership Program. This historic group of students has far surpassed our expectations and we are very much looking forward to hear of their future achievements. Well, I think the Global Leadership Program has had a very good broadening effect. There's all the different categories that you have to fill very wide range of different uh, activities that you need to fulfill and some things I, I may not have uh, necessarily been as focused in if it wasn't for the Global Leadership Program. Through the GLP Off Timetable Days, we've experienced a large range of activities designed to enhance our understanding of innovative global leadership. From cultural explorations of New Market's Main Street to visits to the Venture Labs in the Mars Innovation Centre, speakers, workshops, site visits and guided work time, we've prepared for our final projects. Our capstone project tasks students with developing an innovative solution to an issue of local or global significance. We worked on birth registration in third world countries, which is a very known issue. My solution was a three-step plan, which involved pitching the barriers of transportation in my problem, the cultural barriers, and also the political barriers. The idea of doing in-depth research over a long period of time in order to come up with an ultimate solution and having the experience of pitching something and being passionate about a topic enough to implement it into the future I think is the key thing in this. And it was also really cool just sitting in English class and watching the presentations and seeing all of the different like topics that there were. In my grade she talked about the uh, like female trafficking in China and how much of an issue it is in China and I had absolutely no about like no idea about this and so did a lot of my other classmates and her her idea was just so like inventive and like I just didn't know anything about that and so it was really interesting to like learn about it learn about her solution and like learn about who it's affecting in like 10 minutes. And that is really pushed me out of my comfort zone in a way that I never even imagined before. Talk about something that I'm really passionate about. It's, um, it's been an experience like no other. The Global Leadership Program has been specifically designed to give students the types of experiences that will make them successful at any post-secondary context, whether it be university, employment, starting their own business, and so on. Learning how to design and build is really important for 21st century students. Our students research to innovate, invent, and problem solve. They can build models, frameworks, and prototypes. Quakerism is very constant throughout the school. I mean, we learn about it every day in morning meeting with the moment of silence. The Quaker values are constant and that there's a light in everyone. I think that that's such a, an important thing to know going into the future, having goodness in everyone and recognizing that. I have volunteered with the Quaker Archives that are so fortunately hosted here at our school. I've learned a lot about the Quakers and about their philosophy and their way of life and their history and I've also had the opportunity to actually actively participate in that and that's something which I absolutely would not have had that opportunity if it wasn't for the fact that I was at Pickering College. I speak English, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch and my native dialect of Papimento. I think it's super important to know so many languages. I think knowing all these languages opened so many doors for me. I can talk to so many more people first of all. It also kind of broadens your perspective. If you know so many languages, it feels like you can think more internationally and more globally. As a part of the Global Leadership Program, I've gone on many national and international excursions. Other students have experienced language, culture, geography, and history in France and Italy, as well as service and volleyball in Cuba. Music festivals in Banff, Montreal, New York, and Boston were also options too. We went up to the Arctic with about 15, 20 of us, and we got to experience the local culture there and the Nuvialuit, 
and we went to experience the local Dene games, which brings all the communities together, such as Saks Harbor, which only has nine kids. Kenya was amazing. When I talk about it, I honestly get speechless because there's just too many memorable things that happen, but it was just absolutely incredible to feel so removed from home and just have that complete different experience in another culture. In Kenya, something that I learned um, is that we are very privileged here and that we have to use that like responsibility, that like social responsibility we have to help others. I think the value is to truly experience what the world has to offer and what it has to give us. And I think both trips really fulfilled that. What an amazing opportunity. The first Pickering College exchange to England, to uh, Brighton College. Just England is, is such a wonderful country and so to be able to explore it, it was outstanding. And also being able to, when they came to Canada, being able to show off our country to visitors. It's always a, a nice experience to be able to show off what our country has to offer. I love the leadership opportunities that, you, that I've been given so far and I can't wait to find more once I graduate. I think the Monk team and Capstone are preparing me for the future because we deal with like real world issues. There's really no limit to what we choose, what our topic is. Students learn through experiences, challenges, outdoor education and commitment to long-term pursuits. In Twingo, there was a lot of challenges that we had to overcome. Some of the challenges were we, when we went canoeing, we all had to canoe for a really long time together. Getting everybody to row on the same time because we would like be hitting our oars and going too slowly, but then when we all got in the same rhythm, like it was just such a great feeling. Whitewater rafting was awesome. If the boat tipped, we'd all help each other back in. and. I'm so glad I did it because I got close with the people on the trip and it kind of made me more courageous to do other things and put myself out there. I've been in the drama program for the last two years and it's been a load of fun. It's been a great opportunity for me to hone in on my public speaking and you know debate skills. No surprise that the debate and public speaking program have been an invaluable portion of my high school career over these past four years and to help teach other people confidence in their public speaking and better skills and tips for their debating. It's been an absolutely wonderful experience. We also have to talk about the news every day and so it's a good way to learn more about the world like on Chop FM and be sharing it with other people that are listening. Students actively engage with their community and advocate for important causes through environmental stewardship, social justice and service projects. One of the biggest leadership opportunities for me is um, being the Yao Chair this year. Um, Yao is, stands for Youth Action Organization and we try to raise as much awareness for as many organizations and initiatives as possible and that has really pushed me out of my comfort zone in a way that I never even imagined before. It's such a big part about life, helping other people. Not just thinking for yourself and thinking how can I help someone else. We do take a lot for granted and all the cliche things that we talk about. It's nice to actually have something to put into perspective and actually use something rather than just kind of talk about it. I really believe that these young people that are graduating from all schools today uh, have huge challenges ahead of them. And these students are up to that challenge. Uh, they really have taken upon themselves to, um, to think about what the future could be and how they could become leaders in the future. I'm inspired by them. I think as an educator, they're doing everything that I would want them to do. And that in 10 years or 20 years, I think we'll be seeing a different world because of what our students are doing.